that dirty? Maybe nobody's going to come today. Oh, shit. That's okay. Probably better off that they don't. Yo, what's up, Nick? What's up, Rick Bailey? How you guys doing today? At work, I forgot my headphones today. So what does that mean? Everybody hears what I'm saying? Oh, man. 
might not be good. <laughs> now your work day is almost over. It's election day tomorrow in Pennsylvania. You're from Pennsylvania, Nick. It's election day. Don't forget to vote tomorrow. It's just been a long day. I applied to Amtrak too. <laughs> You'll probably get a job with Amtrak. They're looking for people. Granted, it's probably not what you're looking for. Well, it's a good government job. <laughs> doing a live stream tonight, Nick? I'm sure all the commuter rail com uh, railroads are looking for workers. Depends what you want to do. They got back to me within 45 minutes to set up a physical. I'm just waiting to hear from their conductor, from their contractor to set up an appointment. Okay. I mean, the one good thing with, see, one of the good things with probably a commuter rail like Amtrak or SEPTA, SEPTA for sure. I don't think they're going to care about your BMI. Because I know guys that are my size that work for SEPTA as conductors. So, ain't no BMI factor in that. <laughs> Whereas, I guess, you know, the railroads, the freight railroads... <laughs> I'm more concerned about BMI and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's all bullshit. Well, good luck with Amtrak. What are they hiring for? Conductors? There's a lot you could do for Amtrak, I guess. I don't know if any of your current work can translate, transfer into Amtrak jobs, like what you're doing now, or what you have a degree in. What's up, Leslie? Uh, if you want physical work, you can go do track work for them. But they got back here in 45 minutes, so <laughs> that must mean something. I can't find nobody to work. I don't know what people are doing if they're not going to work. I don't know how people can afford to do anything if they're not going to work. Conductor training starts $25 training. And 26 as a qualifying conductor. I'm good here. I'm doing good, Leslie. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, $26 an hour. It's not bad. But you get benefits. Benefits are worth a lot of money, man.
benefits are, I would say benefits right now, good medical benefits, they're probably worth a family plan. Probably close to ten thousand dollars. I don't know. How's the weather, Jerry? It's still here. It's kind of humid out, man. I wish it would do something. Rain, whatever it needs to do to break this humidity. It's humid out, man. It's just very muggy. Nice breeze. Where are you at, Rick Bailey? So you got benefits, and then you got pension, and I don't know if, I think Amtrak would be in the railroad workers' uh, pension. Not really sure. I think it would be. That's what you got to think with all these jobs, all these types of jobs is long term. You can't think of a job there for like a couple of years. It's long term. It's you're gonna retire there. So you're gonna get a pension, you're gonna get medical benefits, you're gonna you know you're gonna ride Amtrak for free the rest of your life. Granted, I mean it's you know limited sort of. Like you you're not gonna be like first in line. But that's worth some money. And this is a lost cause. I haven't heard anything back from CSX for the shop position. Job is still pending review. Yeah, what's up, Dwight Kerwin? Working at home in the basement. Yeah, it's an okay day out. You got your air conditioner on? But Amtrak's a good company, good good place to work at. So is SEPTA. I mean, granted, you'll have a, a bigger commute for SEPTA, but I know people that do it. There's a lot of places you can work at SEPTA to get even closer. You could work in uh, Red Arrow. Be a regional rail, or you know, a lot. Will you be at Strasburg Saturday? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I may be going to Baltimore to look at work. If I don't go to Baltimore to look at jobs at the museum, these are paying jobs uh, for me. So that trumps out over everything. So if I don't go there, then probably I'll be at Strasbourg on Saturday. I was looking at the weather, man. It's supposed to be like 90, 94 degrees on Saturday. Of all effing days, it's got to be 90 plus degrees. Right? It could be 72 or something. No. It's going to be 94 degrees. So, it'll be a miserable day if it's that hot. Yeah, Baltimore. Huh? Yeah, it's hot. He's right. And it's like all this week, it's like in the 70s. And one day, I mean, it can change. So who knows? All this week, it's going to be like in the 70s. And then one day, it's going to be 94. Where the freak they come up with this shit at? But yeah, at least it's not going to rain. Hopefully. I'll be in Strasbourg on Saturday. Doesn't that alone make you wanna want to, Jerry? 
Oh yeah. I'll be there bright and early. 5 a.m. Waiting for you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Sadly, I'm not that excited about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just not that excited about that one. So, Mark, are you just coming down for one day? I'm just going to guess. What's that, like, four or five hour drive for you? Can't be coming down for one day, man. If you're an hour from Steamtown, Steamtown's about three hours from Strasburg. You can't be coming down for one day. Maybe by the end of the week I'll be more excited. <laughs> I'm coming Friday morning until whenever Sunday. Oh, okay. Three and a half hour drive. Okay, so you're staying a bunch of days. Yeah, I'm not going to be there Friday for sure. Fridays are long days for me. I'm just too tired. I'm sure somebody will be live streaming Friday. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So you're coming Friday morning now. Friday morning. Do you have like uh, something you're going to do? Did you start thinking about what you're going to do? You're going to spend the day at the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad Museum? What's your plans? I'll be saying hi and filming Saturday. Will you be signing autographs? No sign of Digger. Saw him on another stream earlier. Yeah, he's probably uh, sleeping or eating or I don't know. He'll be here when I'm ready to leave. Then he'll cry. I took Monday off so I don't have to worry about what time I get home. Well, that's cool. You're going to have a good weekend. See, like, I mean, for me, there's nothing new there for me. So it's like only the people. And I'm sort of excited to see people. Some are. I hate people, okay? I'm going to be truthful with you. <laughs> but, uh, um, so, I mean, there's a lot to do. There's so much to do in that area. I figured I'll hit everything. Didn't get a chance to go to the Toy Train Museum last time I was there. Yeah. I've never been there. That's the only place that I've never been there. Uh, but uh, I saw George's video, GFW's video, when he was there. And it looks pretty cool. I think I would go there this time. I don't know that I'll have time to go there Saturday. But that's the only place I've never been there. And that looks like it needs a couple of hours to see that place. So, free hug from Nick. <laughs> okay.
problem with seeing people is you don't have time to enjoy the attractions. Like for me, Leslie, it doesn't matter. Been there uh, a zillion times. Been to everything there. Except the Toy Train Museum. For me, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, if you're coming from far away and you've never been before, yeah, seeing people is going to take some time out of your agenda. Because going to the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum, it's not a 20-minute in-and-out job. You're going to spend a I don't know, man. You could spend four or five hours there. You could spend an hour there and be satisfied. It just depends. You could spend a day there. Now, going to Choo Choo Barn, an hour, you're out the door. Going to the train store, eh, how long can you stay in this train store? An hour? So, I mean, other than uh, other attractions to do at the railroad, shop tours, train rides. uh, You've been on one train ride, you've been on a thousand. uh, You know, for me, that is, you know. So, I mean, that would be one way to spend time with the YouTuber people. Is to ride the train with them, take the shop tour with them. I figure most people will ignore me, so I'll have plenty of time for a site. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. <laughs> you know. Now we're going to bug you. Toy Train Museum is pretty cool. The railroad takes a while for sure. Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot there to do. Three days is plenty to do it all. But. You know, you could spend hours talking to people. I mean, like when I met Pappy and his wife and Dwayne, when they came out to Pittsburgh, when we had the trolley thing there at the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum, I spent probably, I don't know, four or five hours talking to them. So, you know, I guess it just depends on who the person is and going on. Either way, you'll have fun. Spend a day at places TripAdvisor recommends an hour. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could go in Pennsylvania Railroad Museum and just stay an hour, but I don't know what you'll see. I can't see how you'll see everything. There's just so much to see. This it just depends what you're into and what you like. Has anyone here rail fan paradise area? Yeah, I rail fan there all the time. Yeah, usually if I go to Strasburg, I go down to Paradise. It's only four miles away. <laughs> it's no big deal. What do you want to know? Nick's been there. I've been there. It's only about four and a half miles down the line. <laughs> Amtrak, you know, you're going to catch uh, two Amtraks probably every hour. And then the Pennsylvania, you'll probably catch the Pennsylvania that, I don't know what time it comes through from the west. I think it comes through 11, 12, and the one going, uh, coming from the east, going to Pittsburgh, maybe one thirty, two o'clock, something like that. Where do you park at Paradise? There's no parking lot. Uh, Where do you park on the side of the road? Uh, Google it. Uh, But uh, Google it. There's no parking lot. There's no parking spots. You're going to park on the grass.
What's up, Jeffrey? Was it just a boiler, Jeff? It was mentioned on a stream I was on. Yeah, it was just a boiler. There's photos of it all over Facebook. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, uh, if you're there on Saturday, you could also park on the other side at, uh, I don't know what's there now. Um, that business is like, it looks like a lumber place, but it's not a lumber place. Maybe a building supply place. It's off of Route 30. I park there sometimes. Depends on the sun. You know, what time of the day you're going. Sometimes, you know, if you're going out. I think if you're going in the morning, it's it's okay to be on that side, on the Route 30 side. Uh, if you go later, you could be in the middle. You could just cross the tracks and stand in the middle. What's up, Mystic Southern Railway? How's it going? You could ride the train off. Too, Mark. If you take the early train off, you take the first train off, and uh, tell them you want to get off at you know, at the end, and you want to uh, stay there for a couple, you know, for um, a couple trains or something like that. It depends what you want to do, but you won't have a hard time parking. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what it's going to be. I can't. I can't imagine that most of the YouTubers are going to chase the train. Um, I got to think that they're going to ride the train just because they're coming from far away. Most of them have probably never been there. So they're going to ride the train, but yeah, I don't know. You'll figure it out. What's up, Digger Evans? But yeah, if you just Google Earth it, and you can see there's like a little road there right next to the tracks. There's a, a granite and marble place there. And you just park on the grass all over there. There's really no parking. But people park on the grass. I drove down a small dirt road down to the tracks in 2010 with my aunt's Kia. Yep. That's about it. I mean, you gotta be mindful of where you're parking. Don't be parking in farmer's fields. Don't be parking on uh, farmer's crops. Don't be walking in farmer's fields. So... You gotta be mindful of what's going on, where you're at, and be respectful, like anything else. But like if you go to the Paradise webcam, Mark, and you see virtual rail fan, you know, and you see uh if you're looking down the tracks, um, the way they normally look, where you see the the passenger, you know, the Strasburg train, and you can catch a Amtrak, and you'll just see like a little dirt road, grass road, not right next to the tracks, and it'll be like that little dirt road that's the railroads, right next to the tracks. Then you'll see some big strip of grass, and then you park in that grass. Where you can park. I mean, there's hills that you can't park on, obviously. How's the sky looking? It looks like it looks every day. 
Yeah, Ron is very angry if someone parks in her fields. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, right now they're probably, I don't know if they're planting anything. I would think that they they got corn in the ground, soybean in the ground, things like that, tobacco. So it's, it should be a busy time for them planting. So be mindful of where you're walking, where you're parking. Just because the field's empty doesn't mean nothing's in it. How's the sky looking where you are, Jeffrey? Looks like uh, it's cloudy, clouds, and some blue. And, no, looks okay. Where are you staying at, Mark? The Caboose Motel. Okay, so you're close by. Yeah, you're close by. I would stock up on things that you want to bring. Like if you want to bring, you know, if you want to get water, bring water for however many days you think you're going to use it. I mean, there's places to go around there to buy stuff, but... You know, do you really want to be trouncing around someplace where, you know, you're not familiar with wasting your time buying water and snacks when, if you just bring it with you, then that way you can keep moving, doing Ralph and stuff. That's up to you. But that's what I would do. Where are you staying, Mystic? There's a nice picnic area, paradise, almost like horseshoe curve. Clouds are moving in, yeah. Yeah, there's a nice little picnic. There's bathroom there, pick park fences, or well, picnic fences, and at the uh, yeah, that's nice. But, you know, there's plenty of places to pick stuff up at. Route 30, the way in, there's plenty of stores out there. Shopping centers, dollar stores, dollar general, rudders, sheets, blah, blah. Plenty of places to eat. Route 30 is kind of like where everything is. And it's probably maybe 10 minutes from uh, the caboose. Won't be able to see the trains too well. Damn, man. Well, I don't know. Try your hardest to look and say. I'm going there June 24th. What's June 24th? Come on, Mystic, just jump in the Corolla and come on down. Well, oh, come on up, not down. <laughs> Friday. What's Friday? Nothing's going on the day you're going? You just want to go there that day?
What's going on, Digger Evans? Get off for quiet. <sighs> Isn't Mystic John thousands of miles away from Strasbourg? I don't know if he's thousands. He might be like 1,500 miles away. I don't really know. Never, uh, never did the mileage there. You're thousands of miles away, Digger. <laughs> Digger, I think you should just hop on a plane and come on out. Tell the queen you want to go over and check things out. To get ready for the invasion. Yeah, had a kind of busy feeling. Tired. Out. Put up a new video. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm tired out too. What's up, John2618? How you doing? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, I don't know if anything is going on that day, but I know I'm going. Oh, okay. Believe me, I would love to come over as soon as I can. I will be over. Okay. See you at 8. <laughs> How far is it from Strasbourg to from your place to Strasbourg? Jerry, want to make a ride with me, take a ride with me on Sunday? To where? Where are we going? I'm going to guess he's probably 1,500 miles away. Maybe 16. Yeah, I would say that. Somewhere around there. Strasburg. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll meet you somewhere where we can ride together. Airfare is ridiculous at the moment, plus hard to get into the USA still. Well, tell them you got to come over here for an important business adventure. Yeah, but if you're coming over on Queen's business, you should be able to get in no matter what. You know, now's the time. The Queen's got to strike. If she wants this country back, she's got to strike now. I think we're at our weakest point right now. I'm in the garage, still trying to figure out the problem with my mower. I can't get it to do anything still. You know, Dwight, sometimes you got to know when to hold them, and you got to know when to fold them. Maybe you need to watch some YouTube videos and figure it out if you don't want to take it somewhere. be able to find a used one cheaper than what you're going to do with that thing. Yeah, the Queen's business will get you straight through customs. Get to the White House. I heard Biden will sign anything you put in front of him. Pretty much, yeah. I have watched a million videos 
Well, how come they're not working then? Whoa, look at this son of a bitch. Man, this thing is big. Hold on, I'll get you up here to look at it once it gets in a better view. I think it's a car ship. Yeah, automobiles. Auto liner. I just don't understand, Dwight Curly. where the key has come from. All the shit imported cars come from here. Where is, is that where my camera is? I thought it was up there. Oh yeah, it's the other way around. I spent a hundred dollars today for parts. Jesus, Dwight. I could have sold you a, a, a used mower for a hundred and fifty. You spent a hundred bucks on parts and you still didn't get this thing running? Bought a new battery, had a battery acid all over the old battery. 1,500 miles away. Looks like a car carrier. It is. It says auto lines on the side of it last. That's usually the first tip. <laughs> but you see that big, there's a big ramp in the corner. And that's how the cars come on and off. Right in that one. Right there on the ship there. Ah, <sighs> Jerry working working on a video finally. Oh my god. You know, it's the funniest thing. There's this kid on uh this is another channel. His name is Josh2018 or something like that. Now I saw that and I'm like, ah, John did a video. <laughs> and then I saw it was this kid Josh and I was like, Dad, Jesus. So pretty soon we are going to see a video from him. Shoot me now and get it over with. Okay, Dwight, no problem. Come by, I'll shoot you. It's okay. The whole of main, mainland UK isn't that far. No shit. Really, Digger? Yeah, he's an imposter. No, he's, he's, you know, his, his name's Josh. But, you know, you see the J and the O and a couple numbers that kind of look close like your numbers. And you think it's you. So, Digger... The whole of UK isn't even 1,500 miles wide. Curious about his track plan, huh? I got my lumber, wanted to start bench work today, but I had too much going on. Yeah, it's usually how it is. I bought some lumber today, too. I had to make a lumber rack in my shop for it. <laughs> Made a quick lumber rack. Worked out pretty damn good, I must say. Well, I got my lumber up out of the way. Uh, it's not spectacular. <laughs> Mystic John, he's only got... How many switches you got, John? 26, 18, 2? Or 4? Something like that. He's only got like 4 switches on his layout, John. Mystic Southern Railway. I think it's just going to be a simple layout. I saw an interesting video about Scandinavian 751. What is that? Where's that 8 supposed to go? 
definitely not wide, but from the top of Scotland to the bottom of England is only 700 miles now. Where I am, where I am, it's about 50 miles east, east coast to west coast, really. I think I'm up to 12 now. Whoa, man. You passed me now. Okay. Now you got something going on now. This could be a monster layout. I don't know. That's closer to what I expected. Really? I, I when when we guessed last time, I guessed twenty two, I think. Yeah, but like eight boxes of flex track. <laughs> How many is in a box? Eight boxes. Jesus, what's it? Was there like thirty six pieces in a box? Three foot long. Five pieces in a box. Oh, that's all. Three foot long, so that's 30 feet of track. So you're going to have 320 feet of track over eight boxes. I remember, well, I saw dozens of them today while getting soaked. Huh? Lots of people walk along the route or wherever they go. What, what do you mean they're getting soaked? Was it raining? Or what are they doing to them? I just got the mower to start. Good for you, Dwight. I knew you could do it. What did you do? You can make money selling them useless trinkets less. <laughs> yeah, you could. I prefer the snap track, but what track is cheap? Flex or snap? Flex track, probably. Yeah, snap track's nice. It just snaps together. Bad news, Dwight, is now you, you have to work. Man. It was a bad wire. There you go, Dwight. You figured it out. I'm proud of you. All those videos you watched helped. The spray people, they spray people on the wall with hose pipes, Jerry. Of course, it was raining. I don't know what the hell they do. Maybe they do. People over there do goofy things. In the long run, maybe flex. I still have a long way to go to get this thing back together. I don't know, Dwight. You don't have the front end for it, so it really doesn't matter. You just got to put the parts on that you took off. That you can put them on. <laughs> You'll get it, Dwight. I have confidence in you. You're Dwight the Fixer. You're like MacGyver. It's the start of raining again just now. Damn. It rained earlier, I think. Isn't this something I can't remember if, if it rained earlier? Can't remember. <laughs> That's bad. What's up, Joseph? That's a lot of parts. Ah, oh, Dwight. Some of them you don't have to put back on, Dwight. <laughs> you don't need them. They're spares. Dwight, it's not like you're building an airplane, okay? You leave a couple parts off. Where are you going? You're not falling out of the sky. Don't worry about it. As long as it runs and it mows grass. That's all.
Thank you, Joe. What's up, Martin? If you have extra bolts, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry about it. What can happen? Nothing. You're already on the ground. You're not falling out of the sky. It's all safe. You're already going two miles an hour. It did rain, but the brunt is still coming. Yeah, isn't that something I can't remember if it rained or I think it did rain a little bit. Yeah, it did rain a little bit. Yeah, it rained pretty hard for a little bit. Because I was thinking, oh man, I gotta pick up lumber and it's gonna be raining. Then it stopped. But you don't want grass getting in the engine. It burns up. It's okay. My brand new Genesis F7 sounds don't work. Why not? Is that the first time you ever had one that didn't work? Is your decoder bad, maybe? What's up with that? What do you do? Send it back? That sucks. So I just found out today that I have something coming in the mail. Kind of excited. Kind of not. It's from my layout. I have to pay for it today now when I go home. Kind of excited, sort of. But a screen over the air, put a screen over the air intake of the carburetor. It runs, lights turn on, I can program it, just no sound, troubleshooting tonight. Huh. Pack it up. Send it back, man. Why should you have to troubleshoot it? Send it back. How's that F7 going to play out on your layout? GG1, Jerry. No GG1s. That's cool, Jerry. What is it? can't tell you. It's something I got on the on the back on track auction on Saturday. You'll see when I get it. It's a Southern GP30 high hood. It's for the next layout. Oh, okay. So then you don't need it right away. <laughs> that sucks, man. Is that the first time you ever got something like that? I didn't even know it could happen. Has that ever happened to anybody else? Conrail. Nope. Can't wait to get my GP3830 high hood. It's going to be nice. <laughs> Norfolk Southern. Nope. Southern. Southern Green. Oh, actually, Tuxedo. No sound. It's not muted. Factory reset. I rack tend to reset adjust the CVs, etc. I'm thinking either a speaker or decoder is faulty, maybe a loose wire. It's rare, but it happened before. Really? Wow. So you're okay with trying to figure it out yourself then, huh? Apparently. I'd be like boxing that bitch up and sending it back. I guess Inspector 22 failed their job. Speaker wire come unsoldered? I don't know. So you should like be able to get that at a discount then. 
especially since you have to perform the work to it. So you see this little thing? You can get this in the gift shop at the Red Caboose uh, restaurant, hotel thingy, Medjiggy. Have little Red Cabooses. They got a nice little gift shop there. Even Strasburg. Strasburg, uh, the railroad has a nice gift shop. And believe it or not, the t-shirts aren't very expensive. I tell you what, they're cheaper than uh, Teespring t-shirts. Baby Rick the Moose, last time I was such a just ignored me, which is common with manufacturers. It's no shit. So, like, couldn't you just send it back to where you bought it from? Or would not, would they not take it back? Son of a bitch is these people nowadays. Jesus, man. What's wrong with this world? Customer product service has gone downhill across the board in my experience. It sure sounds like it. My BLI didn't work right. I don't trust quality control these days. Yeah, sadly. Well, I think BLI's problem is... They got those Chinese junky uh, decoders in them. I don't, you know, I, what else could it be? And, and it's not like it's just a few. It's a, it's a problem across the board for them. It is like well known, man. Yeah, sadly, uh, there was a uh, Sparky bought it. At the auction, uh, there was a BLI uh, Mikado, and it went for a hundred bucks, man. It looked brand new, and it sounds really good. But I know, man, it's a BLI Paragon Three. It could take a shit any day. At least you're not into it for a lot at a hundred bucks. I should have bought that damn thing. Damn that Sparky. No, they won't take it back. You have to contact the manufacturer. Damn those sons of bitches. How messed up is that, man? You sell shit and you don't stand behind it. Why should you have to deal with the manufacturer? Who'd you buy it from? Are they all like that? It's nice when you swap the decoders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Right? But you just spent 300 bucks on a locomotive. It would suck to have to swap the decoder. Now, if you would have bought that one for a hundred bucks and it crapped out on you, no big deal. I should have bought that damn locomotive. Son of a bitch. That was funny. Sparky was wondering why he was running around by themselves. Huh? You mean put a trusted decoder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leslie, where are you buying? Retailers are moving to call the manufacturer's approach for a bunch I deal with. Yeah, that, so let me back up. That's why I buy locals now. Yeah, I, I really can't believe that the store you bought that from and I wish you would tell us it, uh, won't take it back. That's my plan, John. I'll get the bread to put tsunami in it. Oh, the beer to put tsunami in it. I think it's spelled with a T, not a P.
that tooling is very nice. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say, you know, they do make nice stuff, Broadway Limited. Midwest Model Railway. Thanks, I won't buy nothing from them. The trains are running by themselves in the live stream. There's no content. I'm not looking at chat, only listening to Jerry talk to get his to get the sound right back on. Okay. So, Dwight Curley, here's the thing. Uh, Late Night Model Railway just got a brand new Genesis, Genesis uh, locomotive, and the sound doesn't work. So he's got to fix it himself. Because stinking Midwest Model Railways won't take it back. What else? Mystic Southern Railway, he's mad that I'm getting a GP30 high hood and southern tuxedo, but he'll get over it. Uh, what else? I wish I had that ratchet would work the right way. Yeah, you know, stop buying that cheap shit, Dwight, and it would work that better for you. Yeah, that really sucks, man. Man. Yeah, I've never, so like I never, I do not buy anything online just because I want to see it, check it out, look at it. But on a side note, even when I bought things at Yankee Dabbler, like my locomotives, I didn't test run them. I should have test run them sons of bitches to make sure they work. Next time I'm going to. When I figure it out, I'll make a video about it and show others how to fix it. Good job, Joe. That's why I get Bachman products. <laughs> What's the difference if you buy Bachman products? Well, two to go. What's two to go? Very good at doing stuff. Yeah, Brian Ardisa. I wish I was. I'm not going to be having issues with their diesels. See, now Ian had problems with his uh, Broadway Limited 425, and he sent it back. And they. I guess they put a new decoder in it. But it was still under warranty, so. You know, I think they're good at, be it Broadway Limited is good at taking care of things when they're under warranty. But, like, why should you have to pay, you know, a hundred bucks for a decoder from them that's probably not worth it? Because it's just going to crap out on you. I don't know. Bachmans are more reliable runners in my experience. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say yes and I don't want to say no. The only decent Bachmans I own are my Spectrums. And they do run good. Well, I'm just not a fan of Bachman. I don't, you know. I'm not a fan of them. I wouldn't spend a hundred. I wouldn't spend a hundred and eighty dollars on a Bachman locomotive when I could just spend a hundred and eighty dollars on an Atlas or a Kato locomotive. I pretty much know that it's going to be a great running locomotive. That's just my thoughts. It's just my humble opinion. Midwest policy is as soon as you take it out of the package, it's not their problem. How am I supposed to? <laughs> yeah, like, it's, as soon as you take it out of the. Maybe they should test the locomotive for you before they sent it to you. That would be an idea, right? Yeah, don't take it out of the package. It's okay. Leave it in the package. 
Now I know I'm not buying nothing from those bastards. Why even get a decoder? Because the decoders have sound and you can do things with a DCC locomotive that you can't with a DC locomotive. Some people don't care. And that's fine too. But personally, I like the sound and I like the things you can do with uh, DCC. I like the sound. What's up, TCB? Yeah, you, you I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too practical. You would think that they would check it for you, make sure it runs right, to make you happy. Well, it's a good thing that you got it, Joey, and not me, because I'd be really pissed off. <laughs> I'm sure you're pissed off, but at least you can fix it. I'd be screwed. And then I would just call my credit card company and say that, you know, they, something I bought from them doesn't work and they're not taking it back. So I would screw them back. I love the sound of my GP39. I can't go back to without sound. I'm spoiled. Yeah, you can't. I mean, it's hard. I mean, obviously you can if you have to. But, man, once you have sound, uh, man, there is nothing like it. And even in N scale where it doesn't, you know, amplify as much as HO or any of the other scales, sound is just, I don't yeah, it's like I said, some people don't care. For me, I do. Even if I just have one sound locomotive, that's fine. And the rest work. Bought a Bachman SD45 with a decoder. Unfortunately, I didn't run at all. That sucks. Yeah, I have a couple of Bachman Spectrum SD45s. They're DCC ready. They're, they're so there's no decoders in them. But they run good. I'm frustrated, but I'll turn it into a win. Yeah, because you're capable of it. Me, on the other hand, like I said, I wouldn't be able to fix it. I wouldn't be able to figure it out. I'd be just mad. Probably get my gun and go over there and shoot everybody. Go post on them. Too many locos running with sound can be annoying. Yeah, I'm sure. But I don't have that uh, luxury. <laughs> like I said, you know, as long as one sounds, I get sound from one, I'm okay. I meet the local rooms, I'm not running. Yeah. Finally got that part back on. Thank God, Dwight. Thank God. It's about time. Now you can go cut your grass. Your T1 is pretty loud. Oh, man. See now, like, I'm waiting for this jet to pass over. That Pensy T1 from Broadway Limited is probably the only Broadway Limited that I would be really tempted to buy if I found it at a good price. Because that's just such a gorgeous engine. God, that engine's beautiful. And that thing is, they did an awesome, they do nice work. I, you know, I can't say nothing bad about the detail that Broadway Limited has in their engines, it's, it's good. But just their electronics are not trustworthy. And I only have one of them. So 
I mean, I can only talk about how mine is. And I'm not happy. <laughs> this once I made the mayhem on five or six Lopez around him with Sam. Wow, you got that many? Damn, man, you got a lot of locomotives there, Mystic Southern Railway. What's up, Ian? Are you talking about Broadway Limited Steam or Diesel? I'm talking about Steam when I talk about the T1. But my Broadway Limited is a Diesel. That gives me problems. Broadway steam seems way better than the diesels. Yeah, but you have problems with your steam engine. I don't know overall how better they are. I don't know. Not you what, Jeffrey? What the hell are you talking about? I'm not talking about you when I say your steam engine, Jeffrey. I'm talking about Ian. Ian had problems with his Broadway Limited steam engine. What's up, James Galton? How are you? I'm testing the Atlas B237 figure of the railroad paint I got today. Only one thing bothers me. No ditch lights. Yeah, well, you know. Sometimes, they, you know, there's no ditch lights. What are you going to do? Send it to me. I'll take care of it. I don't have any sound engine. Only one is the Bachman SD that don't it don't run. Well, maybe you can get it fixed. And that impression as well, you know, unfortunately both of mine are diesel. One can't pull diddly poo, diddly shit, and the other doesn't run at all. They sure look nice on the shelf though. More packing. Yeah, that's how it is, James. It's what your life is gonna be like for the next couple of weeks. Packing and unpacking. I really like anything that comes with the ESU. Yeah. ESU is pretty good. Although, man, that soundtrack tsunami shit, that sounds pretty good. And they say that T TCS WoW sound sounds nice, too. I don't think I've ever heard any TCS WoW. But, you know, what are you going to do? That's how it is. Ian, did you work today? I was going to message you at lunch. Because it was raining. Here. TCS Wow is nice. Do you have anything with TCS Wow sound, sound Ian in it? Or do you have anything with TCS well sound in it, Ian? <laughs> Speaker and sound files are over here. Yeah, I guess so. Not fussy about decoders. Some are nicer than others. <laughs> it's just a plain fact. Some sound good and some don't. Some sound really bad. It's like, if I, man, like, the auction Sunday, there was a Bachman little steam, I think it was a 060 uh, steam engine with sound. That thing sounds horrible. And if I paid good money from Bachman and it sounded that way, I would be mad. <laughs> it sounds horrible, man. But, yeah, what are you going to do? There are good ones and there are bad ones, so. Firstly, my Burke has an iPhone 8 speaker in ESU. It's a Bachman. Yeah, but you had somebody put that in for you, so that's not fair. I 
I got bad news about FS22. My laptop falls a bit short of running it without working the graphics card too hard. What is that, FS22? Is that some game? You guys gamers? Must be like car game or farm sim. Must be farm sim. You guys were talking about farm sim the other day. Can't you can't plant your corn, huh, John? And your John Deere tractors ain't running right. Uh, they were talking about farm sim the other day, Ian. I don't know how we started talking about simulator games. I think Jeffrey was playing in Scorshoe Curve simulator game. Then we started talking about simulators and found out the Mystic plays farm sim. He's a farmer. Well, man, I guess you're going to have to... You're going to have to rectify that situation, Mystic Southern Railway, if you want to grow anything. Have a nice evening, Mr. Closet Branch. Mr. Closet Branch, don't forget to vote tomorrow. Tomorrow's voting day. Do your part and vote. Vote frequently if you can. Can't grow no corn. Can't fix my tractors. What are you going to do now? Might be time for a new computer, John. Eh, nothing's wrong with plowing some fields. I'd rather be plowing a real field, but that's okay. I just got this one, so I will be a while before I upgrade, maybe years. Damn, so now you can't even play the damn game? Oh, my God, man. You didn't do your homework too good, did you? You can't even play your game. That sucks. Well, you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to make friends with somebody that's got a supercomputer and go play it over their house. Maybe changing the graphics setting will help. Maybe. You have Zsa, Zsa Gabor helping you at the ranch, John. <laughs> yeah, is there like a little Zsa, Zsa Gabor helping you? Gabor? <laughs> that's funny. That's damn funny, Leslie. <laughs> a little ebb. What about you? You got a gaming rig? No. <laughs> nope. No, I don't play video games anymore. I got a PlayStation 2. <laughs> I don't even play it. Boy, do I wish. Damn, you'd be doing things to her, wouldn't you, John? Dwight's back. So, Dwight, is it is it safe to say you got it running? See you, Ian. It's dinner time. What time is it? 5.30, son of a gun. Damn, Ian, what are you having for dinner? Dinner time, man. Son of a bitch. I wonder what I'm having for dinner. Pork chops, I think. I took pork chops out. That's when I have pork chops. No game machine for me. Me either, James. Isn't she dead, John? That's weird. Yeah, she's dead. 
it's not dead in the computer game though. Does dough start? I gotta cook my dinner. What do you have for dinner, Dwight? So the other day, okay, I bought some Popeye's chicken. And I got to say, it's not as good as, as KFC. Not even close. Not even remotely close. It's just okay. I was a little disappointed by their chicken. Don't know yet. How can you cook something you don't know? Better get to knowing, Dwight. It's only 4.30 there, Dwight. You still got a couple hours more to work. Get working. Get that mower running. So you can cut some grass tomorrow. And plow fields. I'm done with the mower for today. Oh, man. Can't give up that quick, Dwight. That grass isn't going to cut itself. So, John Mystic Southern Railway, how big is your your uh, farm simulator farm? How many acres you got? Dude, I have been through a lot today. I even fell. Damn, Dwight! Dwight, tell Jerry to cut it for you. I got nothing to cut it with. I'd be happy to cut your grass for you. But you'd have to supply me a lot of the lawnmower. I kind of like cutting grass. I don't know, though, Dwight. I need a zero-turn mower. Can't be driving on some, like, normal old mower. I need a zero-turn. You can get one of them battery-operated zero-turn ones. You know, be green. Save the planet. Save the planet. Oh, jeez. Where'd Digger Evans go? Digger Evans, you still here? must be fighting with the parrot. I would like to buy a new mower, but I don't have $3,000. You don't need $3,000, Dwight. You can go up there and buy zero down, like everything, like everybody else, and be in debt. This is America. Just be in debt like everybody else. She's on the phone. Oh, okay. Thanks. I missed that. Back was scooping the litter box. Can't that cat do its own work? Scooping the litter box. So, John, I was asking you, uh, it's okay. You don't have to pay them, Dwight. You know how many people drive around and don't pay for their cars? As long as you can get, like, uh, get by till September. Who cares if they come and take the mower after that? <laughs> Dwight has a ride in mower. Did you see how big that hole is in the... Yeah, I saw it. You just gotta weld it up. Weld up, uh, put a piece of metal on the top of it and weld it up. Or just put some duct tape on it, it'll be okay. 
some gorilla tape. Um, Mr. Southern Railway, how big is your farm? Or well, farm simulator, I think it's going to rain. It's starting to get cloudy. It's funny. I'm watching these people try to put a put a uh, a picnic uh, out or just putting a blanket down on the ground. I thought they were putting a picnic uh, tablecloth on a a tablecloth on a picnic table. Small. Just getting the hang of it. Small like twenty acres. Small like two acres. 200 acres. How many acres? Bought some metal and it's not going to work. That sucks. Do I get a herd of goats? Yeah, I know. That's what I told them. I told them. Get some goats or sheep or something. Throw them out there. At least you can milk the goats and they'll be cutting your grass. You can make cheese. Get some sheep, you could get some wool, kill the lambs and eat them. You could even eat the goats. That's what I'd be doing, ma'am. Get some chickens out there. It's in the freaking grocery store yesterday. Eggs are over $3 a dozen for freaking eggs. Like, three months ago, I was paying like 80 cents a dozen. $3 a dozen. James, if I mow my yard with a push mower, two things could happen. I could die from pushing it, or by the time I get done, it's time to mow it again. We're not saying get a push mower. We're saying get some sheep or goats. Or just buy some weed killer and spray it all down. Fatten a lamb in your yard. Yeah, I know. Gas is 470 here now. No shit. I think it's four sixty five here. But that's okay. We're gonna send forty billion dollars billion forty billion dollars to the Ukraine. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna help them out. <laughs> Don't worry. Can't get no baby form there for the babies here. We're going to send them $40 billion. Because we're nice people. Foreign change here as well. Yeah. What does 205 a liter translate into gallons? Is that like $8 a gallon? Cheese up by. 8% in the last week. Well, cheese has been pretty stable at Audi. I haven't seen cheese go up. Like, milk went up a little bit, but nothing went up like eggs. Nothing. Nothing. Not even like beef went up like eggs. How do you go from 80 cents a dozen to $3 a dozen? Actually, three oh nine a dozen. How do you do that? Now they're talking about this avian flu now. But like I bought chicken. It's a dollar sixty nine a pound for thighs. I've paid it as low as like a dollar twenty nine. A little bit of an increase. But not uh I don't even know how much. Hundred percent, two hundred percent, three hundred. 320% increase from the egg price. Um, pretty soon eggs will be as much as the price of gas. Yeah, I know. 
times four. Okay. So shit, your gas is eight dollars and how much was the, your change? Five cents. Eight dollars and twenty cents a gallon. Frig you. How do you afford to drive? I don't know how people can afford to drive at that price. It's pretty messed up when you gotta when you gotta think, can I afford to drive to work? <laughs> can I I can't afford to stay home from work, but I can't afford to drive to work. Let alone have to pay for eating, utilities, rent, mortgage. I don't know how people are doing it, man. But that's okay. We're sending $40 billion to the Ukraine. They need it. They're in a bad way over there. $6 a gallon in U.S. funds. Still $6 a gallon. That's still not cheap. How much is the Canadian dollar? Like, what? what is, like, is, is the Canadian dollar, like, 80 cents to the U.S. dollar? Do you know how much Starbucks makes a day out of all 8,000 stores? Millions of dollars. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't go to Starbucks, so they don't get none of my money. God bless them. That's all I can say. If they can get it, okay. If people are stupid enough to pay $5 for a cup of coffee, I, you know, what can, what can you do? I mean, it's okay. Yes, we are sending so much to the Ukraine. We are responsible for elongating the war there. If we keep out Russia, would have pinched. If we kept out, we had pinched the ground. They wanted by now and left the place. Dollar sixty a liter for cheap petrol here. I only make my coffee at home. I don't blame you. I do too. Might not be as good. I ain't paying $5 for a cup of coffee. I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're getting a lot of money over there. And I got to think, the typical thing that's happening is, it's probably not going to the right people. I'm sure a lot of our politicians are getting a little kickback back from that $40 billion. That's just how they do it. Starbucks over here didn't pay a dime in tax money. And they made a token donation after getting bad publicity. Starbucks makes over $8 million a day. God bless them. Well, I can tell you one thing. None of that's from me. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been there. I've, I think I bought their coffee twice in my life. I, I probably paid like three something for a cup of coffee. And it just didn't impress me. It was like, it was good, but it wasn't good enough that I'm going to spend Three bucks or five bucks every day. What's up, Jim Tedesco? How you doing? You're just in time, Jim. Just in time. Time to see a pound. Is... Dollar sixty a pound. What is, what is that? I'm talking U.S. dollars, not 
UK dollars. Starbucks is West Coast coffee. Mm-mm-mm. I know that is why I look at all my so local Starbucks line up to pay all the money for coffee. It's nuts, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like I said, if people are stupid enough to stand in line and hand them their money, I'd be happy enough to take it from them. Can't fix stupid, man. There's no cure for stupid. In time for what? I don't know. We're starting to rant, Jim. That's what we're in time for. We're starting to rant. It's starting to get windy, cloudy, there's a storm brewing. Storm's coming in. Yes, James, I could work out. Okay. One Canadian dollar is 78 U.S. Okay. It's a dollar twenty-three. So far, Jim, we have roasted Broadway Limited and Starbucks. Yep, that's what we've roasted so far, Jim. You want to add to it? Tell us your story, Jim. My wife buys coffee at Dunkin'. Five bucks for a large or a ripoff. Yeah, no way. Every once in a while, I'll go to Dunkin'. And get like a small or a medium, and it's like two fifty. It's pretty good coffee. I do like it, but it's not some place I'm going to every day. I'm just not spending two dollars and fifty cents on a cup of coffee, and I'd be damned, damned if I spend five dollars on a cup of coffee every day. Yeah, I'd be damned. Dark roast for Broadway Limited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like what it is. Dark roast. It's overdone. Only <laughs> once in a while. Damn, Jim. Hmm. And you can't complain, Jim. Right? What can you say to her? Don't go there. You know what she'll tell you. So it's a no-win situation to kind of put up with it. Jerry, I'll be in town Saturday night. We can head up early Sunday morning. Yeah, I'll text you. And uh, let me know when you come in. I like coffee from A&W or McDonald's. McDonald's has decent coffee. It's okay. Her money, her problem. Yeah, I know. Well, that's good. That's even better if it's her money. (laughs) But if it was your money, what can you say? I mean, you can't tell her to stop buying your $5 cup of coffee. And she'll tell you, stop buying your $200 trains. Really windy. Glad I'm not 90. Why, what would happen at 90? Are the planes busy today? Well, they're not landing this way. They're taking off this way. I don't know. I don't think they're as busy as they... I don't... I don't know their takeoff rate. I only see their landing rate. Their takeoff rate isn't very busy. What's up, Barty Buco? Who's buying me $200 trains? Ain't nobody buying you $200 trains, Barty Buco. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, you can. Complain? <laughs> yeah, you can complain because it's her money. 
But if it was your money, what can you tell her? Well, I guess you could say something. If it was all your money, then it's your money. Yeah, I guess you could. I saw A&W's menu and can't stop laughing. I mean, who wants a grandpa burger? It's good. a and is pretty good, Leslie. They make good french fries. Their burgers are pretty good. Their root beer is good. That's a pretty good place. I'd rather eat at A&W than like a McDonald's. Or even Burger King or Wendy's. Oh, man, that's windy. If you had the scanner frequency, you could really hear what's going on. I could hear them, Jeffrey, but I wouldn't know what the hell they're talking about, so it'd be, like, worthless. Chubby chicken. What the hell is chubby chicken? My money, my rules. Yeah, you're right there, Jim. What's going on today, Jim? Mr. Tedesco? I want an A&W float. Do you have A&Ws down there in Florida? I have A&W, but not supposed to drink it. Not supposed to do a lot of things, but you do it, right? I've eaten at A&W once some backwoods town on Vancouver Island. It's not very nice, Leslie. I'm sure the people on that backwoods uh, island in Vancouver are proud of their little island. Maybe it's you tourists are coming to screwing the whole place up. I don't know. Just saying. What's up, Barty Buco? What are you doing? Oh, I'm having chicken Alfredo bake. Sounds good. What's going on today, Artie? Well, it's so early, right? This is like 8 o'clock or something, 8.30 in the morning. So your Tuesday's just starting. How's your Tuesday looking? Shitty? Artie, you send us some trains. You guys talking about food and I haven't had breakfast yet. Well, what are you waiting for, Artie? Have some breakfast. We were talking about politics and trains. And the price of gas. I know your gas is $10 a gallon, Artie. We were talking about Broadway Limited and how crappy they are. Oh, and then we were talking about coffee and the price of Starbucks coffee. Stop at DQ today and got a large chocolate cone, and for the price, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, Rick Bailey said the ice cream man came around or something, and he got a soft-serve cone. It was $4. I don't know how big the cone was. I'm sure it was like a triple dipper or something. But, yeah. Eh, what are you going to do, Dwight Curley? Don't buy it. I still have rum raisin ice cream in the freezer. Can't eat much of it today. Why? I got gas for $8 last night during happy hour. (laughs) Yeah, but that gas probably doesn't run your car. How nice if it would be if somebody would invent a car that runs on farts. Just think. Right? Then you would be promoting a lot of things. You would be promoting gassy foods. Foods that produce gas, so the bean business would be big. I don't know what else produces a lot of gas, but the bean business would be big. Just be eating beans all day. 
Yeah, or cow farts. If you could bottle up, how, I don't know how you could bottle up cow farts. But, you know, they're complaining that cows are, you know, really doing a number on the ozone with all their farting. So if we could harness that gas that they're producing and use it for something, maybe we could hook little pipes up to them. You guys are laughing. You think it's funny. That would drive the bean suppliers. Yeah, I know. It'd be like a win-win. You're you're buying the beans. You're getting protein from the beans, right? You're getting nourishment from the beans, right? And then you're powering your automobile. It's like perfect. That's recycling at its best. And probably whatever gets put into the air, it's just, you know, it's natural. It's beans. I had a hot, I had a dog named Pork Chop. He could have powered a small town. Right. Dogs fart a lot too. Just think of all the miles you could have drove from Port Chop Fart and Jim. Hundreds, probably. They use methane gas for coal mines, but the fuel companies and do-gooders complain about it. Yeah, do-gooders complain about everything. I wonder if they complain about ants farting. I bet you ants fart a lot. All the wood that they eat and things like that. It's got to be very fibrous. They're not complaining about them, though. Two gooders. I like to line them all up and run them over. John and I had to pick myself off the floor. What do you say? Remember when Freon was killing the ozone now it's cow farts. What will be next? I know. Oh, you had a dog. I thought Jim had a poor dog named Poor Chop. <laughs> many fart engines many years ago. They used them to generate electricity. How did that work? Did it work? They use sewage to reduce gas when heated by the exhaust from the engines. They explode. What a way to go. Explode from the inside out. Ants don't fart. Really? You know that for a fact? You know that for a fact, Artie? They got it. They got to fart. Every living thing farts. I think fish even fart. Oh, uh, Marley? Who, who? Marley's diesel engine. Is that a company? Marley's? Miley's? Marley's? My? I don't know how to pronounce that. So many uh, pronunciation there, Digger. They can burn trash to make power and gas. They do in Germany. Yeah, for sure. You don't see log at the gas stations anymore. What's a log? Oh, LPG at gas stations anymore. LPG. I see uh, they have gas stations around here that are CNG, compressed natural gas. I think the LPG is just too dangerous. Can't see the compressed natural gas being any less dangerous. But I don't know. I'm not a gasologist. No, they don't apparently. I 
is a mixture of icing, sugar, and B-carb soda to kill them as that bloats them up. Hmm, interesting. Why are you killing the ants, Artie? What do they do to you? Yeah, they do that here, too. I don't know what they do with it. Merleys, Jerry. They were a diesel engine company in the UK. The Germans bought them out a few years ago now. Oh, okay. Thank you for that, Digger. They do that to old dumps, Digger. Yeah, they do that here. I don't quite know. I guess they harness it some way. I don't know. What's going on on the other side of those clouds? Nearby farms get free power. They want to build two power stations to burn trash to limit landfill. A lot of the byproducts they use to make roads, which helps to drain it and makes it quieter. If they don't burn off the gas, the dumps would explode. Yeah, my dad was research engineer with Marley's. He did a lot of work on their diesel electric locos. Wow, that's pretty cool. So why didn't he, like, uh, why didn't you guys have a, some, like, super cool car at home, Digger, that your dad built. All you could, kids could have farted in the gas tank. We still have plenty cars here on LPJ gas, but more in Melbourne as it comes off the coast. Oh, that's interesting. I know we have compressed natural gas here. There's a station right up the street that has compressed natural gas. Nothing but compressed natural gas. Nothing else. No regular gas. Just compressed natural gas. It's right by the airport. There must be vehicles in the airport that run on it or something. That's why it's so close. Or maybe like uh, some of the freight companies. But I see some big trucks powered on uh, CNG. Like trash trucks and things like that. I wonder how much they... I wonder how... What they get for mileage and things like that. I wonder if it's really worth it. Man, some cool stuff, Jerry, but that was always a lot of working. Hydrogen is the way to go for running motor cars. So, Digger, why don't you, in, why don't you, uh, why don't you, out there in your train shed working on this idea? You could be bringing it to the forefront, Digger. Power stations around the corner runs the same gas. And the guy in Melbourne Market that ran on compressed gas. Digger, I think between you and Artie, you guys can work that out. That hydrogen-powered shit. I don't know. Just saying. You guys can figure this out. They building a hydro hydrogen plant here to run cars with uh, JCB already are already producing hydrogen fuel cell engines for their diggers. Really? Damn, why don't they do one for my truck? Son of a bitch. So I'm going to have to go steal one of them diggers and put that engine in my truck. Hmm. There is at least one loco being adapted to run hydrogen. 
I think the Florida East Coast, I don't know if they run compressed natural gas or liquid propane. LPG. Maybe it's LPG that they run. Do you know Jim Tedesco? If, if George was here, he would know. They lose power using gasoline very soon. Hydrogen is the way forward. It's cheap to make and really has zero emissions. Just water. Sticker, you keep talking about, but I don't see you doing anything about it. I don't think I don't see you making it. You could be a zillionaire, Digger. I know you know how. You're just not doing it. Are the Russians paying you off, Digger? So that you don't invent this hydro hydro hydrogen powered vehicles? I think they are. Damn Russians. No rain, just dark clouds. Don't let the old coal over here from doing the earthworks for it now. Need to go and take photos of the process. What are earthworks? What's earthworks? 611. Digger hasn't got the money to do it Let, like the rest of us. He's got plenty of money. Don't you worry, Artie. It's already being done, Jerry. But anyone can build a simple hydrogen generator. All you need is salt, water, and electrical current. Well, Digger, why don't you make a YouTube video so that I could build one? Apparently, you know more about it than I do. Don't let Digger fool you, Artie. Excavation equals earthworks. Oh, that's true. I don't have the vast financial resources at my disposal like you guys have. Yeah, sure. You got all the Queen's money. You got plenty of it. You're not fooling me, Digger. Okay, Jerry, I will make a video showing how to make hydrogen. Splendid, Digger. It's the best thing you said on weeks. The hell with those train videos. I want to see the hydrogen, uh, hydrogen videos. But you need some fuel to make the electricity. The queen has all my money. It's okay, but you can ask her for it any time, Digger. She'll give it to you. She likes you. The queen likes you, Digger. She'll give you plenty of money, Digger. All you gotta do is ask her. I don't have it either, Digger. Well, really, if I did, the U.S. immigration would have sorted things out faster for me. I could have been sitting with Jerry now. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that, Artie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She has half a mind, too. I'm back. Did I miss anything? I don't know, Jim. So much happened since you left. I didn't even know you left. I really don't know. Is Prince Philip still alive? No, he's dead. He's been dead for quite a while. She has a 
has far too much of everyone's money. No, Martin, he's still dead. <laughs> yeah, he's still dead. Uh, he's in his vault waiting for Liz. <laughs> yeah. She ain't coming no time soon either. From the sounds of it, man. God bless her, man. That old lady's going to be longer. She's going to outlive all of us, I think. Jeez, man. I guess that's what happens when you don't do nothing. And you're living good. You live long, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. As she could, we would be there fishing and eating healthy, fresh made roux jerky. Son of a bitch. Damn roux jerky. Damn government. Screwed me out of my roux jerky. Hope they all rot now. She's doing okay. She will live to a hundred. Wait and say, I think she'll live to be more than a hundred. Well, she said herself a telegram when will she send herself a telegram when she hits one hundred? How old is she? Is she like ninety something, ninety two or something? Alexa, how old is uh, Queen Elizabeth? Somebody's Alexa had to go off right now. 96. She's 95. Make up your mind. I made $500 on Saturday selling my fruit turkey. Did you really? <laughs> Damn it, Artie. Well, that's good. I'm glad you did, Artie. She's got a little while left, I think, but she's... Uh, oh. Ill. She's ill at the moment. She can't open Parliament the other day. Her boy had to go and do it. Man, what's this? Is a, man, I hope she's not dying. Jeez, man. I think if she died, the UK, man, those people over there, you guys over there, man, it'd be broken up. It'll be probably worse than when Princess Diana died. I wonder if Elton John will make a song about her. She's been singing out. She just celebrated 96. That's what the news said. Okay. Maybe she's 96 in Australia and 95 in the UK. You guys are ahead of us all the time. Yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit. Yes, Jerry, the nation will be rocked to its very foundation. I think it will be. She's lived, you know, she's been the queen for how long? Seventy five years? That is a long time. Generations. Seven generations. I mean, seven decades. God, there's got to be at least two generations. Maybe three generations that have seen her. She's been the queen for three generations, maybe, of people. Yeah, I think that's going to be a tough one for you, Brits. The longest reigning monarch in history. Chuck will be a king for a few years and pass on. Yeah, he'll probably die before her. Maybe he'll die before her. Well, the Commonwealth country, countries will be hit too, like Canada. 
Yeah, I guess Canada will take it tough, too. Will Australia take it tough? I thought you guys don't like Pompeys. That young Billy will be king for youngs. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I heard the queen died last year, and they are hiding her death. <laughs> I don't think so, Jim. I, don't, I can't see. How can you hide that? I mean, I can see how you might hide Elvis. You might hide Michael Jackson. I don't see how you can hide the Queen, though. Yeah, I think Elvis is still alive. Jim Stesco wrote the Russians are reading this. <laughs> Heard his line painted the logo in purple to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee and numbered it 70, named the Queen Elizabeth. Why would they hide it? I don't know. They don't want Charles to take the throne. I don't know. I don't know that either. <laughs> They hid her grandmother, grandfather's murder. Did they really? I guess they're, they could do anything, I guess. Elvis was here hiding amongst his impersonators last month. Probably was. He probably was. Charles is next in line. They can't stop Charles from being queen, king. It was his right from the moment he was born, and there is no way of stopping it. Well, say if Charles really didn't want to be king, he wanted to be queen. Could he be queen? You know, they're changing things now. I don't know. Possible, I guess. Do you have more clout as the queen? I don't know. Mr. is Digger. Another scandal would fix that. Might be a problem. No less. I don't know. That's, you know. I don't know. The way things are changing now. I mean, if he wanted to be queen, he could be queen. If he said he felt like the queen, he could be the queen. Who's to argue? Freddie Mercury was the queen. Yeah, he was. They want the oldest son to be crowned. Oldest child now. And then Charles has... Had his fair share of scandal. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> he could break tradition. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, we got all this stuff going on. Gender verification, gender identity, and, you know, women that want to be men and men want to be women. They want to be identified as women. And God knows what else there is. I mean, I don't know. It's supposed to be like 80 genders or something like that now. I don't know. Hmm. Plenty of queens would offer to take the job. I bet. Well, well, well not as his brother had. It only affects us because we pay for it. What do you pay for, Digger? Scandal is no reason for not succeeding. It goes with the territory. 
There's scandal with everything. There's scandal here. You know, Bill Clinton slept with this one, that one, this one. They would go to Jeffrey Epstein's island and screw young girls. Scandal everywhere. Just how it is. Who, how many women did JFK screw? Scandal everywhere. Can't get away from it. Nowhere near as juicy gossip as his deaf brother had party. Brother Charlie having the crown than his dodgy brother. Who's his, who's his brother? Andrew? Is that the one that went to Epstein Island? Is Andrew his brother? The top royals are untouchable. I love it when the royals come to visit. We know where all the cops are. Then. Yes, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew was at Epstein Island. He was on Epstein Island with Bill Clinton and all them other people there. Having a good time. Partying it up. Good old Andrew. Yeah, God forbid he becomes king. <laughs> I think if he became the king, I think all you Brits would kill him or something. Either that or these guys would all leave. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I won't. I wouldn't be surprised if the girl who accused Andrew has an accident or takes her own life. Yeah, it's usually how it works. I mean, look at, uh, you know, look at Ted Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, poor, poor Mary Beth, uh, what was her name? Kopechnik. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what happens. Look at Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, he killed himself in jail. Yeah. He couldn't live no more. I'm surprised his girlfriend hasn't killed herself yet. <sighs> Kansas City players are special. What are the Kansas City players? All right, Jim, hurry back. Plenty in line now for Andrew to be relevant. Well, if Charles died, who would be next? Andrew? Or one of Charles' kids? You're right on that one. Hmm. His son, Billy. So Charles' son, William, would be next in line? That the, I, don't, I don't understand. Why isn't Andrew next in line? Because Charles is the king? So his son? So Andrew got screwed totally, huh? Okay, so now here's the thing. If Charles never made king, Say if, say if hypothetically, Andrew bumped Charles off. Or, yeah, Charles had a little accident. Would Andrew be next in line? So even though Charles never made king, Right? The queen, she's still going. Charles, God forbid, dies. Now the queen dies. So you're saying William becomes king. Because Charles' oldest child automatically has the job. Son of a bitch, man. What a lucky bastard he is, huh? 
Who says being the oldest doesn't pay off sometimes? See? Being the youngest kid sucks. <laughs> Bill would get a job. William, it's William, not Bill. If he pegged out Bill's oldest one, <laughs> would get the job. No, unless both sons of Charles are dead. Group B, youngest sucks big time. <laughs> you must be the youngest too, Digger. So bet. So damn William, he's got it made, man. He's done. He's in. Because you know Charles isn't going to last long. Just isn't. He don't look good now, man. You know, William, he's right there, man. Boom. He'll be in. And once again, Harry, he gets the short end of this draw. He prefers to be called Bill or Billy, as his wife calls him. Really? No kidding. That's funny. Prince Billy. Or King Billy. <laughs> That's funny. King Billy. Now, if Princess Diana was still alive, she couldn't be queen, right? I gotta say, she was like the only uh, royalty that I liked. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my British friends. I've done my lawns already this morning, beating the rain. You were up early cutting grass. Harry leaves with nothing. And it's getting dark again. Ooh, man, that is a nasty looking cloud. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, man. I'm just looking for the tornadoes. When it gets a little closer, I'll show it to you. Uh, God, no, not King Billy. They do Civil War in North Ireland. <laughs> no, once they divorced, she was out of the frame. Uh, so she, well, what if she wasn't divorced? What's what's that lining up like? If she wasn't divorced, what, what's the deal? Would she be queen? Could she be king, queen? Show us the cloud. Look out your window, Jeff. You can see it in real. So, like, look at the clouds here, right? They're pretty decent, not bad. But then we come around, and we got this thing. It looks nasty. And then look past it. It's so crazy. It rained for just a bit, and then it stopped. Been in, being in debt sucks. I just owe the power company at the moment and nobody else. Ah, screw the power company. Yes, but queen consort. Okay. If they were her still married, she would have been queen when Charles was king, but now it's Camilla. Okay, okay. So she's the queen. Camilla will be queen consort, right? 
I didn't even thunderstorm from that in Bear Downware. Eh. I don't think it's going to do anything here either. This is dark, man. Damn. I don't think I've ever seen one so bad. So dark like that. That's like scary dark. The, the wind changed direction. Them little boats out there. You can't even see them, really. Those poor little boats. Just waiting for a little tornado to come down. Yeah, it means just surely will wear the big fancy gold crown stuff with jewels and Camille has just has to wear a hat. Damn. Did you see the red moon this morning? No. Nope. Did you take a picture of it? Get some nice girls with horses. You can check out the girls while they attend to their horses. Huh? What are you talking about, Artie? Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit. It was raining here, so no chance. set and then back there like the beginning of the world of wars it could be diggers could be it maybe it's like a nuclear cloud yeah I just don't ever remember seeing something so dark like that such a contrast between the blue sky and the dark sky hypnotizing it looks like it's raining past it like on the back side of that cloud it looks like it's raining It's moving pretty fast, though. Let's see what happens. Is Dwight here? He was. I think he went to go cook dinner or something. I can't see his chat. You got me blocked, Dwight? Yeah, Dwight's got you blocked. What's up, Darth Simple Tax? How are you? Uh, just over $8 a gallon. We're talking about dark clouds here, Artie. You're talking about gas. We're done talking about gas. It's starting to rain. Yep. The weather's crazy. It's a crazy thing. You know? I'm just how you see the weather change and move. And, you know, it's sunny here and it's raining here and it's sunny there, and you can kind of see it happening. What's up, Wigbag? Good afternoon. How was your nap? Everything has gone up here. Yep, we were just talking about that earlier, Artie. I went food shopping yesterday. Eggs were $3.08 or $0.09 a dozen. Like two months ago, they were 80 cents for eggs. Freaking eggs. 
Maybe aliens are invading, Jerry, hiding in the clouds. Maybe. Maybe, Digger. Uh, Jerry, you will be fine. No need to build an ark. You don't know. You don't know that, Darth. Oh, it looks pretty bad out there. Have you looked out the window? Yeah, like a double do coronation two for the price of one. Party, there's a war in our main food region. <laughs> Now it's like, it must be pouring on the other side of this cloud. So I can barely see the bridge. Just past me. No bad flooding. Will it be the Archbishop of Canterbury or York, Leslie? Or will they both get a go? Man, my damn kitchen window is open. I can't see the bridge now. Barely see it. Must be pouring like crazy over there. And I can see it coming closer on the water, too. Ooh, the sea is, she's a rough sea out there now. Missiles landed in Bosnia and Croatia. Another in Hungary. I'm getting hungry, speaking of. I can't see the bridge. It's gone. Disappeared now. You know it's raining really hard. It's just a steady rain right now. I buy a $16 tin of coffee last in two months. How much is your $16 bin and coffee now? Eggs are really the only thing that's really crazy on price here. Beef is not that bad. Chicken, not that bad. But eggs. How do you go from 89, 80 cents to $3? That's crazy. And the pro, you know, if it's the avian flu thing that they're saying is the reason why it's, eggs are so expensive now, chicken hasn't went up that much. It's all bullshit. Yeah, I can't see the bridge at all. Six dollars a tin for a chock full of nuts coffee. That's two months. The girls want to be cute to serve me five to six dollar coffee. Oh, hell yeah. It's not going where it needs to go, Jerry. Where's it need to go? Now that clouds that way. That way. That way. Hey, uh, Stephen, are you coming to Strasbourg? Picking up. Hurricane winds. Oh, my God, I don't think I'm going to make it. I drink three 12 ounces a day. I am not, unfortunately. Avion flew my ass. All we had to do was keep the chicken indoors. And they didn't stop laying eggs. I know. It's all bullshit. Yeah, it's raining pretty good. 
can't see the bridge at all. Can't see nothing, really. What's up, Sparky? But I might go to the OVR meetup June 4th. What does that... That does no good for us. We're not going to the OVR meetup. I can't get into Canada. Oh, shoot. Hope you're having a great day. Well, what about me? You didn't ask me if I was having a great day. It's going to cost you $10, Sparky. We got... We both forgot the exchange rates while in the U.S. The day is going okay. Much better... Um, Thursday. Why can't you get into Canada, Jerry? I don't have a passport. I don't have one of those vaccine cards either. Yeah, I know. Nobody cares. You're right. Nobody cares. I'll see dollars drop. Been screwed. You're still screwed. Getting a good rain now, but it's just coming down. I can't see too far ahead of me. Hey, Sparky, are you coming uh, to Strasburg by yourself? I guess you're driving, right? Hmm. You probably want to buy, uh, buy a bunch of gas cans and buy some gas down here. It's probably cheaper than up there. There's a pirate ship. Jerry, I can't, it can't be raining hard. We can still see clear as a bell. It's raining. So you can't even see the bridge there anymore. Oh, it's just popping back up. There's the bridge popping back up. You can barely see that ship out there. It's raining pretty good, Sparky. Coming down Thursday. Are you coming by yourself? That was my question to you. Gas down here is like four sixty, four sixty-five a gallon. Depends where you're at. Looking forward to the group wave. We're going to give you the group finger, Stephen, for not being there. Pirate ship, yeah, it's a pirate ship. Just like that, it's about to stop. It's crazy how the weather is. It just blows right through. Sparky, it's going to be hot, they say, Saturday. Better bring your Speedos. So, it sounds like I'm definitely coming Sunday for sure. I'm going to ride with John. He wants to go Sunday, John 26, 18. And Saturday, if I don't go to Baltimore for my work job, then I'll probably be there Saturday. Don't go to Sydney then, Artie. Four nineteen a gallon here, but the lady said it will be two eighty nine later in the week. <laughs> what the three eighty nine later in the week? What the hell is she smoking? 
like, gas has never jumped as much as it's jumped now. Like, before you'd see it jump 10 cents, it's jumping, like, 30 cents every time it goes up. They're really sticking it to us good. Be nice to meet you and John 2618. Yeah, it'd be nice to meet you too, I guess, Sparky. I don't know. I guess. Uh, I don't... Uh, if I do, I'll catch the trains and cost me $25 round trip. Oh, shoot. It was dollar thirty just before this Russian bullshit. Is that cheap? That's a lot, man. Yeah, well, you know. Back before our president got elected, gas was two sixty something here. And we're teetering on five dollars a gallon now. So yeah, shit happens quick. Just like that. Just like this, just like the rain. Was nice, got cloudy and dark and poured, and now it's getting sunny again. That's how it is. Oh shit. Every time I go to see the train stories with the airport. When the pandemic hit here, gas was basically free. I yeah, guess was so cheap, man, during the pandemic, and no cars were on the road. I kind of missed the pandemic because there was nobody on the roads, nobody in the, nobody was out. They were afraid to go out. I don't know. I miss it. Seventy six cents in three months. Yeah. Well, and I think it's been, I forget how many months for us, January. Can't remember, it's like been a blur. Yeah, that's how it is. I miss the open roads too, yeah, see, you miss them too. Soon people can't afford to drive, so open roads again. You know, I don't know. I, I would think that, but. They're saying, like, here, like, we get, like, people from this area, they go to the beach, the beaches. The beach is, like, an hour away. So they go to the beach during the summer, and they're saying that the rentals are, like, at an all-time high for beach rentals, for houses and places to stay at the beach. Who the hell can afford to go? I guess some people can, but... People are still going to keep driving, Sparky. They don't care. People are stupid. I saved almost $10,000 during that year and a half. <laughs> By not driving? By not doing what? How the hell can you save that much money? Were you not eating and driving? Not doing nothing? Uh, it, w it would be safer to drive the trucks on the road again. Yeah, I know. I don't know what this dude with his camera's doing. Maybe he's a YouTuber. <laughs> well, I'm going to head home. It's 7 o'clock. Two and a half hours I've been at this shit. I'm going to head home and get hungry. Um, I don't know. Tom's trains and things. Nick's crossings later. I think Nick's on at 8 o'clock. Nick's crossings. Tom's on at 8 o'clock. I don't know. Does Tom do, do any live streams anymore? I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you somewhere. All right, folks. Y'all have a good time. Good night. See you somewhere. See you soon. Peace. You drive, we'll watch the road, man. It doesn't work too good. Because all you'll see is this. All you'll see is if I flip my camera around. <laughs> that doesn't look too good, does it? <laughs>
All right, man. I'll see you all later. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by.